Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate a reaction that seems pretty magical. If you were driving along in your car and you saw a yellow light, then you would slow down. Next, you might expect to see a stoplight. After you'd stopped, it would then be time to go. Let's see that again up close. Small shake, orange to red. A large shake, red to green. So on the surface it appears magical. I haven't added anything to the bottle, but I have added something, uh, perhaps not from where you might be thinking. In the bottom we have a dye that's giving us our colour, yellow at this point. And above the bottle and above the dye we have air. So the regular air that I'm breathing here around me. The vast majority of it is nitrogen. There's some carbon dioxide, a few other gases, but the most important gas is oxygen. Now as I shake the bottle, I'm mixing oxygen from above the solution into the liquid below. With a small shake, I mix in a small amount of oxygen, giving the red colour. And with a larger shake, I mix in even more oxygen to give the green colour. Now the colour is from a dye called indigo carmine. This dye is structurally related to the indigo we might find in the blue dye of blue jeans. The solution also contains glucose, which is assisting in maintaining this yellow colour we're seeing right now. When I shake the bottle, I'm oxidising the indigo carmine to this red form. If I leave it sit, the glucose acts on the dye to return it back to the reduced or yellow form. Now, this transition backwards and forwards can't happen forever. Eventually, all of the glucose will be consumed, or the dye might be damaged from the repeated oxidation and reduction cycles. So, it looks like magic, but really it's better than magic, because it's chemistry. <laughs> 